Get in there! Scott, off me! Okay? Oh, oh, okay. Help me. Have a nice day. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy, how you yeah, doing? Uh, come on, Jimmy, uh, uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, Jimmy, sir. Let's you're undercover. Up as in Daisy. deep. Hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch, looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Oh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, Oh, the motherfucker thinks he can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen, uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that ruin his life? People don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I. He's got it all wrong. He's got but one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? <sighs> Some lawyer big white shoe firm, thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, Some... enough, enough. Sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. Gonna go to the DA with it, use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah, so, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure, it'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh... Get yourself a suit. Okay. I will email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man! Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does. Smoke a lot of latte. There's a tip jar. I've sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. Call when you hear about the interview. Come in. You're late, and please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True, but the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? 
What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? Huh? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. Okay then, let's fly this thing!
Thank you. We'll take it from here. My men have the chopper. They're going to strip it down and put it back together. It should be ready for you when you need it. Why would I need it? The guy I told you about. The guy you need to eliminate. The only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye. Things ever made sense? They made sense inside. Three meals a day, time in the yard, lockdown at eight. Things out here is mad crazy. Tell me about it. On the down low? I think Playboy wants me dead. Might just let him do put a cap in my dome. End it all. That what you want? Seriously? Nah, fuck that shit. I ain't ready to go out yet. I need you to get him for me. I can't do it myself. He was my boy back in the day. That's something I won't be able to forget. Seem like you got my back, Nico. Now be out on this one, dog. I'll stick by you till the end. Take him out for me. That's a pretty heavy request, Dwayne. Playboy was your best friend. And he's always been straight with me, more or less. I'll have to think about it. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's going to judge Kate? What would she win if they did Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in. Exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. 
The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash flow. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Follow me, Nico. Why don't they make these places easier to break into? Hurry up, you bastard! What's the problem? I'll get here on my own time. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. You gotta jump down there to get at him, man.
Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. They're taking this real serious, aren't they? This is my life to stop that here. Not many people do. But that's a lesson I've learned. Fucking casino. Said it'd be easy. Good thing I enjoy a good ruck. What the hell? Is it Chinese New Year already? There's a box of grenades in here. Pass some up, Pecky. I'll give them a taste of their own fireworks. Give it some, Nico. Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. Well, the wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man.
Playboy boy X. And yo, Whitey's back. Yo, what you doing? You got rid of Dwayne already? I thought the old dog would have put up more of a fight. <laughs> I didn't kill Dwayne. Well, what you doing back here then? Step to it, motherfucker. Well, I was thinking that maybe Dwayne is not the problem. Maybe it's you. Motherfucker! You think you can touch this shit? You think I got here by letting little bitches like you fuck with me? I own you! Nobody owns me! This ain't no fucking one of us gotta die. People respected me. I made a difference. You didn't change the game. The game changed you. Dwayne. I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You're right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed of Playboy's fancy silk chic law. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah, it'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe you'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. Them money? He never told me anything. I heard they took him to a warehouse off Montauk and Bohan Industrial. I'll check it out. You've crossed the line, Dimitri. I got your message, Dimitri, you piece of shit. You're a dead man. A dead man. Before you die, I'm going to cut your face off. Then I'm going to hang it on my wall to remind me what a lying, cheating, treacherous scumbag looks like. Goodbye, friend. I need some more stuff. <laughs> what an ass fucker you are. If you want to walk out of here, Slav, you're going to have to think about how you will pay your debt. A friend of mine, Dmitry Raskolov, he would pay a lot of money for your cousin. I'll get you the money, just not that way. I got to go back to the gym. 
It really sucks. I'm with you. You will not hold my cousin! with my family! Hey, asshole, you on that? Come on! Test me! Test me! You have got me! You have got me! Belik, not your fat cousin. Cousin, I know you'd come for me. Your pain is over, cousin. I'm coming. Nico, please help me. We are Nico Belik. Turn around and walk away, or your cousin is dead. I am not afraid of death. When she comes for me, I shall embrace her.
Thank you, cousin. You saved my life. We should get out of here. There's a car. Take me home, cousin. Roman. You have been gambling. I give you money. How are you in debt? There are cycles, cousin. You must lose a little to win a lot. Come on, my cards were not good. Roman! That man knew Dimitri. He was trying to make me give you up to him. I would never... Of course you would not. Dimitri has taken this too far. He wants you dead. Bohan is not safe. I I'm going to get us a place in Algonquin. Are you okay? I'm used to taking these beatings, Nico. I almost expect it now. Wherever I go, there are people who want to kill me. Men who will kidnap me. I'll never marry Mallory. I won't be able to sleep with another college girl. There is a knife hanging over me. A clock is ticking. Man, this is out of control. I know. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to die. I don't want to die, man. Not like this. How would you like to die? Having a threesome on my hundredth birthday? I don't fucking know. I'm scared, you cold bastard. What are we going to do? I'm not cold. You're cold. All you care about is revenge. Getting your own way. And all you care about is money. And gambling it away on the internet. Oh. Isn't America great? I get to sit in front of a computer and play Mr. Rich Man and get into debt with crooks. Okay, I messed up. I know I did. I thought things would be different. I, I don't understand this place so good. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Stop sitting in front of the computer gambling our money. Stop uh, getting into illegal card games. Stop spending all our money. Yes. Thank you. And stop thinking about the Russians. Men, we just need to disappear as far as they're concerned. Disappear! Okay, okay. But I want Florian and Darko. I need to know what happened. Give me that. Fine, but leave the Russians alone. I was not the one gambling in their private club. I didn't know! I give a guy a prey! Okay, okay. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I have a nasty feeling I had a bit of an accident back oh. there. And Nico. What? Thanks. So the plan was they were going to hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey. Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Kate! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly. Robin fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? 
The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we're gonna have to kill you. Well, since you put it that way, I mean, right. good. All right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. A mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell all those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegarinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know that purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico. When Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader in my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you, ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me. Let's go inside and find this money. Hey, Packy! I'll go get the money. Cover me, will you? Hey, 
Take a look around, Reason buddy. We can't <laughs> Make a swim for it with the money. No See you back at the house, Becky. Try to keep the money dry, boy. Well, yeah. Beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Angelotis don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. Now don't fucking worry about it. Now this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, now shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money, Dad. What a trooper. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. And he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him. For me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank yeah, the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Excuse me. 
Nico, you are back to Lagan? That's right. Thank you. Here's my man, Nico. Hey, Jacob. Yo, Nico, some serious firepower up in here. Rocket launcher, boom! Let's find him and get this over with. I don't like being in this man's pocket. Yeah, not my butter, butter. There be the other chopper. Stick to him, Nico. We need to take him down there with no people. For a man who has asked me to kill a lot of men, this guy is really safety conscious. Sin, you got that government thing about it. I feel it's great and good and thing. I have the feeling you don't want to be responsible for a helicopter crash in Middle Park. Show that. Yo, this be some crazy shit in a nigga. Yo, in you know, the star jumps in a helicopter, there's some real spy shit I is doing it up. Shows you that the people who need spy shit done get other people to do their dirty work. Same bridge and everything crash. Shit, Jacob! You really gotta smoke that thing now! The secondary smoke! doesn't exactly help my hand-eye coordination. And I'm paranoid enough with U.S. government on my ass. Whatever. Actually, just smoke it. Over the water. 
Vater. Nur eine Zeit. We shut down that chopper for you. You think I don't know that? You think I've been sitting around scratching my balls with my head up my ass? I'd be impressed if you had been. talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. so long ago that your debts got you kidnapped by the Russian mob. That was a cold streak. Now I'm hot, cousin. Hotter than the mother will be bedding. I can't move! Roman, we have spoken about your gambling. Wait until you see the new place in me. You'll change your song. So what I took on a little dance?
How you doing? Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> good. Yes, comrade, I am doing good. There is no I, there is only we. It is a glorious system, comrade. <laughs> excuse me? You're excused, comrade. You're excused. Now go and mind self for 50 years. <laughs> You're a dick. I'm a rich dick, friend. I'm young and rich and loaded. Tell you what, I have a hundred bucks on Uncle Sam, Benjamin motherfucking Franklin. Freedom! This coat is okay. You. Nothing to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up though before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun as I would have had with Roman, believe me. Hey, are you my date? Thank God. You never know who's going to turn up when you've met someone online. Yeah, all sorts of sickos can use the internet. You have to be careful. I'm Nico. So, Nico, what do you do? I do a lot of things. What's your job? 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 Everyone's talking about this job guy. I haven't met him and I don't want to. Mr. Job sounds like an asshole. Really? What type of man do you want to meet? One with a lot of money. Do you know Gay Tony? Runs Hercules and Mason at nine? I'll tell you a secret. He pretends to have the dollars, but he is broke as hell. The loser. If there is one thing that I hate more than fat people and cripples, it is poor guys. Is that why you borrow money that you can't pay back? What are you talking about? How the fuck do you know who I pay and don't pay back? Fuck you, bitch. You ain't Miss Thang. You can't tell me shit about who I am. I'm just here to do a job. People in this world need to work. And my work is getting rid of you. I wouldn't fuck a scummy immigrant like you anyway. Oh, oh no. so good. I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. I don't think you'll be seeing anyone. Picking it to tear it out? Anyway, your profile's still up there, bro. There's all sorts of crazy pictures on that site you can get into. Real freak, you know? I'd be getting involved with some internet same shit, but uh, I only take models, you know? Or VIPs, who could be models. Not many of them online, yeah? Catch you later, big guy. Later. Mr. Bellick, this is Karen from Goldberg, Lickner, and Scheister. We'd like to arrange an interview for you at the earliest convenience. Come into our offices at noon tomorrow. Is that all right? I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day. I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. Fuck bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business. Get the file.
Rico. The shit went down with those guys in Bohan. Elizabeth's doing a bid. I think she might have killed Manny. Really? Good thing you haven't been hanging around with them too much. The shit is fucked up. I'm sorry for getting you involved. Don't worry about it. You've got enough on your plate looking after Roman. See you soon.